You know, there's been a flood of misinformation spreading like wildfire online about this attack on Speaker Pelosi's husband, their home, and, you know, the attempt on her. Right-wing personalities have been spinning wild conspiracies and telling complete lies about what happened. Elon Musk, Twitter's new owner, helped amplify one of those fringe conspiracies by tweeting it out to his 112 million followers. He wrote, there is a tiny possibility there might be more to this story than meets the eye. Musk eventually deleted that, but not before it racked up 100,000 likes. The bizarre and baseless story he retweeted came from a website that back in 2016 made the bonkers claim that Hillary Clinton had died and a body double had replaced her on the campaign trail. Ben Collins covers disinformation and the internet for NBC News. Ben, ben, I'm guessing word of the suspect's confession doesn't stop information or disinformation about any of this. Oh, absolutely not. Uh, you know, the idea that this guy had committed basically, you know, uh, the opposite crime of what he committed, that he was do doing some sort of political terror, has taken all is taken uh, hold all over the internet, and that's not going to stop just because some charging documents uh, have proven otherwise. In fact, you know, uh, people like Elon Musk have tweeted about this. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. has sent out Instagram posts about this. Uh, this has become sort of the prevailing narrative, the disinformation about this case. You said earlier today, Ben, that, that reality can't even exist anymore because it can't catch up with the lies on the Internet. We've always known that the lies spread faster. We, we, we can't hit the erase button on social media. So what does this look like going forward? Yeah, look, we're going to we're in for a lot more dumber conversations at the Thanksgiving dinner table uh, at this rate, especially with people like Elon Musk committed uh, to having those sorts of lies and disinformation placed on these platforms. That's what we saw this weekend is there was this information gap. There was this vacuum uh, where information was, where people were trying to trace down exactly whose blog this was and, you know, if if what kind of ideology this person had. In that space of trying to confirm something, people who spread disinformation uh, filled that gap, but they filled it with lies that sort of pervaded throughout the weekend. Ben Collins, thank you.